good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio. So today we've got ourselves a promo that I want very much indeed. We've got a bunch of things to talk about, starting off with this 7-Eleven Lapras promo. Yeah, that's right. We've got a 7-Eleven Lapras promo. I don't remember seeing a 7-Eleven Pokemon promo before. That doesn't mean we have never had one, but I certainly don't remember seeing one at least with the 7-Eleven stamp. Yeah, we've had 7-Eleven promos before, I believe, because they've, they've done 7-Eleven promos. When I say 7-Eleven promos, we've not had them before. What I mean is the stamped version, I'm pretty sure we have had 7-Eleven promos over in Japan, but we've not had stamped ones. And this is honestly incredibly cool. Any regular viewers of the channel will know that I am a sucker for a good stamp. This stamp, it's it's fine. It's not particularly great. It's not particularly terrible. It's fine. I have good memories of 7-Eleven when I've been to Japan. And I'll be honest with you, right? 7-Eleven have been crushing it. Absolutely crushing it when it comes to One Piece promos over in Japan. So, for instance, they did this promotion about a month ago where you bought two pieces of chicken and got an exclusive foil alt art leader. The leaders are previously released, but the artwork was new. Also, shout out to the lovely TCG Taj who picked these up for me in Japan and sent them to me, and I received them yesterday. Is this as good as those? No, it's not. And hey, it's an English language promo. It's the English language Lapras from Stellar Crown. Now, what you need to basically do is go and buy a booster pack at 7-Eleven stores in the Philippines. And for the moment, this is happening in the Philippines. Now, according to the lovely Poker Guardian, who, let's face it, tends to be pretty on the ball with this kind of stuff, it is going to be coming to other territories as well. We should be expecting it to come to Malaysia and Singapore. Right now, the information we've got is about the Philippines, but we're expecting it to come to other territories as well. And look, it's the Lapras from Stellar Crown. It's not a terribly exciting card. Single energy, 20. Free energy, 80. Nah, mate. It's not particularly exciting in that regard. And it is just a straight reprint, but hey, it's got a new stamp. You know what? I'm kind of all right with this. And honestly, I might try and pick this one up because I think this one is cool. But if you want to go a little bit closer to home, we do have some other promos that we can take a little bit of a look at. Like, for instance, Raging Bolt. And I love this one because it's just got the Stellar Crown logo on. Now, remember, our pre-release promos do get the set stamp on. This is not a pre-release promo. It gets a little bit awkward, but your pre-release promos have the stamp and are alternate art versions of cards in the set. The highlight this time being Bouffalant. Whereas here, this is just the regular Raging Bolt from the set, but with the Stellar Crown logo on. Now, it's going to be made available Best Buy when you spend $15 or more. Go to Best Buy, spend 15 bucks, get yourself the Raging Bolt promo card with lovely Kadama artwork. And you know what? Yeah, why not? This is a very cool card. We've got two energy, and it does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each energy attached to this Pokemon. And then free energy 130. And part of me wants to look at this and go, well, hang on a second here. Why don't we just combine this with Raging Bolt EX? Because we've got the same typings here in terms of the energy that we're attaching. And we can hit a whole bunch of bench damage. And the answer is, yeah. But realistically, like, free energy should be the minimum before you're really using Thunderburst Storm. So you can hit, like, 70 to 90 HP evolution and support Pokemon. And the thing is, we we're accelerating a whole bunch of energy when we're playing Raging Bolt. But we're generally using Professor Sada's Vitality, but there's only so many of them we can use in our deck. And then we're using Teal Mask Ogapon and moving the energy over with Energy Switch. But again, there's only so many Energy Switch we can put in our deck. And my biggest issue with this card is essentially that 
it takes a lot of energy on there to really do a lot. And then you go down and then you're in a bit of a pickle. Whereas the EX can just, you know, smash huge numbers. Not a terrible single prize attacker, but I'm not sure quite good enough. So that's going to be available in Best Buy when you spend $15. Regular Rage and Bolt with the Stellar Crown stamp. What else we've got here, however, is Arch Aladon. There's actually two versions of this. So if you go to the US and Canada and spend $15 at GameStop, you get the GameStop stamp. And if you go to Australia or New Zealand, you can get it from EB Games instead. Now, while we're here, I need to tell you something I've told you before. The GameStop stamp, the worst stamp that we've had in the Pokemon TCG. There has never been a worse stamp. Fight me in the comment section if you think I'm wrong about this. Now, it's still nice to have a stamped promo, which is lovely. But I met, I met somebody who works at GameStop at NAIC. Lovely chap. Had a lovely chat with them. And they remembered me talking about the GameStop stamp being terrible. And I doubled down. And they understood what I meant. And it's lovely. We had a nice conversation. They're a lovely person. But this stamp is horrible. The GameStop stamp is rubbish. 7-Eleven stamp, quite nice. Set stamp, obviously goated. GameStop stamp, garbage. EB Game stamp, better. Honestly, might be a contender for worse stamp if we didn't have the GameStop stamp. But we do have the GameStop stamp. <laughs> so, it's not the worst. It will never be the worst. We've got a worse one. Point is, yeah... Now, as for the Arch Aladon here, I actually like this card a lot. Now, the attack is no good, and I'm not pretending it is. We've got free energy, 160, can't attack next turn. I mean, okay, right. To be fair, it's still 160, and we've still got, for instance, Metang, which can accelerate the energy onto there. And free energy, 160 on a stage one is not terrible. The issue is, like, if we're looking to get, like, the weak two prize Pokemon... We're looking at things along the lines of Luminium, which has 170 HP. You're 10 damage short. Or we're looking at stuff like Squawkabilly, for instance, which actually has 160 and you can KO. So yeah, you can get Squawkabilly, but you can't get Luminium. Not being able to get Luminium genuinely makes me a little bit sad. But it's the Ability Metal Bridge that we like the most here. Because all your Pokemon with any metal energy attached have no retreat cost. And it's very important to note, it is all of your Pokemon with metal energy attached. It is not all of your metal Pokemon or all of your metal Pokemon with energy attached or all of your metal Pokemon with metal energy attached. This is the best way round. Because you can give free retreat to literally anything using this. And I honestly think that makes a pretty big difference. I like this card. I don't hate it as an attacker, but I actively like it for the ability. Yeah, fine, it's on a stage one. But if you're playing Metal Energy, or you can play Metal Energy, this is actually pretty cool. And while we're here, when I say can play Metal Energy, I want to all remind you that Mega Ordino won World back in 2016. And I actually didn't need any particular kind of energy. Didn't need any special energy in order to actually work. So what they did was they played it with metal energy. Largely so that they could use Magina. Because Magina had the Mystic Heart ability. Which prevented all effects of attacks. Now, to any Pokemon with metal energy attached to it. Let's face it. Preventing any effects of attacks is clearly better than free retreat. Not saying otherwise, but I am saying this is extremely cool. I like it. I'm a fan. And look, I like stamped promos. Anytime I can get me some stamped promos, I'm a fan. These are pretty gosh darn cool. I love the Lapras with the 7-Eleven promo. It's unique. It's fun. It's special. It's not something we're used to getting. And these other promos, I mean, look, they're out. They're about. They actually start, wait for it, tomorrow. Yeah, this is not a coincidence. Ah, it's a tiny coincidence. I was planning on uploading a video talking about these right before they went up. But the 7-Eleven Lapras promo being revealed this morning kind of sealed the deal. These start tomorrow. We're not late. We're right on time. 
So go and join in, ladies and gentlemen. Go and join in. And hey, maybe road trip over to the Philippines and pick yourself up a Lapras as well. That one might be a little more difficult. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about these. I want to know which ones you're excited about. I want to know anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section. Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. And get shout outs on the channel like the lovely Ray of Light, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.